In this video, we will explore how to record expense in Zoho Books. So let's start. Open your Zoho Books and go to the left hand side and click on the purchase tab. Okay. Then click on the expense and here you can see the plus sign. Just click on to record your expense. In the record expense tab, first mention the date of expense just click on the date and you can see one calendar is open select your date and record your expense here then expense account the select an account just click on this drop down arrow here the number of expense accounts available all is available if you want to add the different from this list so just click on the new account add new account option and here the small dialog box is open the create account so just account type select click on this drop down arrow and here have a account type the expense cost of goods sold other expense other liabilities and other current asset you select as your requirements so account name also here add it after that account code if you have any account code you can add it um, and any description if you want to mention for this expense name you can mention here and after that just save and select and after the save in the list of this expense account you can see the added your expense and just select it those you add it okay so i just select in my list i just select here automobile expense okay and here you can see the one option available item itemize okay so if you have a more than one items more than one expense item you can select this option just click on this option and you can see here the expense accounts is a automobile expense i already just added and now you can add new row you can add here your other expense okay so i just click on the label okay this way you can add new row to add your expense account back to the single expense view just click on this option back to the single expense view now you can see the already selected automobile expense now you can enter here the amount of this expense just click on this drop down arrow and you can see here the different currency also available and if you want to add the new currency just click on this plus sign to add new currency you can enter here the currency code just click on this drop down arrow and you can see here the all currency code available and then currency symbol then currency name decimal place format you can select this drop down arrow okay after that the fill all this detail just click on the save and select okay i just close this and you can add here new currency also here i'm select inr and here i enter the expense 5000 okay then paid through uh, so select an account again click on this drop down arrow and you can paid through option also available there are number of option available so i select here the petty cash okay then vendor you can see the red highlighted and star is showing the these are the important to feel details okay so date is also important to expense account expense account important amount of expense is required to record your expense properly paid through is a uh, important to record the expense so then vendor so just click on this drop down arrow and you can add here vendor name if you paid the expense with the any uh, transaction on the any transaction sales transaction any purchase transaction so you can select as accordingly the vendor name also so it's recorded here so you, when you in future you when you check this expense and if you want to check this where is expense is done so you can check all details and you quickly remember so this vendor related expense here record it okay same as after vendor selection the invoice number if this expense related to the one invoice so you can mention here as a reference for your reference mention here the invoice number same as the third is important notes you can enter here 
in future when you check this expense so you can just read these notes and you can remember so this expense for that okay so the customer name here the option customer name also you can select you can see the customer name here i already one added if you want to add new customer just click on the new customer option and new customer dialog box is open customer types business or individual if the customer is a businessman you can select the business and if the customer is individual you can select here individual these are all details is related to only customer so select the details of customer those you want to record your customer details okay so and the last one is a reporting tax so associated tax so there is a no added the reporting tax in this here so that's it and here the, you can see drag or drop your receipts so any expense receipt you if you have it you can upload here just click on this drop down arrow and there are see the different way you can upload the attach from desktop attach from documents attach from cloud and you can see here the different options available you can upload here your receipt from anywhere okay so here the one notes mention here maximum file size allowed is 10 mb so before to upload if the file is not uploading then check the size of the file okay and after that you can just save and save and new if you want to record the new expense after save this expense just click on the second option cells save and new okay you can use the shortcut key for this alt plus and and only for save alt, alt plus s okay so i just press alt plus s and here you see the expense details these are the preview of your expense the automobile expense 5000 date also here showing in all expense here in 5000 and here the paid to petty cash automobile expense just drag below you can see the petty cash automobile expense 5000 5000 debit credit so and here the, the uploaded file also you are showing here i'm not uploading therefore it's not showing then edit if you want to edit again expense detail just click on the edit option and you can edit it make recurring expense suppose this expense is a monthly basis every month is a recurring so you can select this option make recurring then if you want to print this expense you can just click on the print option to print this expense just click on this three dot and there are some option available so delete if you want to delete this you can delete it view generally you can view general okay and here again have a three dot just click on it import expense if you want to import your expense here in my zobo only one expense i just added if you have a number of expense and if you want to import it you can import expense export expense <coughs> okay export current view and the preference manage custom fields reference list reset column weight so these are the so many option available in zoho books so you can use it and you can really uh, do the best accounting in your zoho books okay so hope you understand if you have any query related to this expense so you just comment me i will reply on it that's it hope you understand this tutorial if you like this, please subscribe. Thank you so much.